Hi everyone, I would like to show you the old school essential system I made for Foundry VTT. There's a character sheet, of course. So here, uh, once you've created the character, you can roll the stats randomly. Just have to click on the dice. The average and the standard deviation are shown, so you can see if you you had bad luck. Maybe ask some pity from the game master. You have a summary, so the GM can validate. Once you you have your stats, you can see the modifiers. When you click on the book, you can set the health points. And you have everything you need about the stats of your character. You can roll it. And once you do, you have a dialogue where you can input modifiers. If you maintain the control key pressed, you don't have a dialogue displayed. Attack rolls works basically the same way, but if you succeed, there's the damage rolled as well. You can apply damage by clicking the blood icon from the damage roll. You see, health points are updated. The characters have an ability tab and they have a compendium with pre-created abilities so you can just drag and drop them. I am making a halfling so just picking this up. Abilities can have roles and descriptions. We will see. Uh, the missile attack bonus adds one to my missile attacks, so I can set it in the tweaks dialog located on top of the sheet. You can add bonus experience and I have a lot of things I can do from there. So yeah, I can roll and I have the success of failure displayed when I do. You can show the ability and roll it from the chat. So if somebody else must roll, it's possible. Here's the inventory. I have items pre-created as well and I can drag and drop. Uh, weapons have qualities. Um, it's displayed as icons when I can do it. You have uh, armor that you can equip and it will update the armor class automatically. You have several options for encumbrance. Here uh, my adventuring gear is not taken into account, like you can see. But if I increase my treasure, you will see and my movements will be adjusted accordingly. These are options I can set in the tweaks or in the system settings. I won't go into much detail. Here. I can add languages as well and record a description if I want. It's a rich text editor so you can put links in the and rolls invert. So, I have a monster sheet that works the same way. I have additional things specific to monsters. Uh, in the header, I have a treasure table. I can roll morale, uh, number appearing, and uh, reaction rolls next to alignment. Attacks have counters, so you can uh, use the attack patterns. 
can set colors uh, next to the attacks so you can group them together and uh, if I want to have two bytes and uh, one claw per turn I can set it it will get uh, updated automatically I can add saves to weapons and roll it from the chat you don't see it here but I can add a spell tab to monsters as well there's a party sheet where you can select your favorite characters and you have links to them as well as basic information about them Here I will show you a quick combat. I have the group initiative setting enabled in the system settings, but you can do individual initiative if you want to. Here I'm selecting a color, so Eleonore is the same team as Taribat. You see uh, Eleonore has a, a slow weapon equipped, so I had to remove it because it, it was playing last without it. Initiative is rolled at each turn automatically. That's a lot of messages. Well, you can deal experience as well. Oops, refresh. I can deal experience and you will see it's adjusted by the bonus experience I set in the tweaks options on Eleonor. See. So I'll show you the spells as well. It's basically the same as abilities but you can count them. slots and it gets updated and you can reset all of them at once. Spells only have a duration and a range field added compared to abilities. Not that much. Okay, so I'll do a quick combat. Nothing fancy. Some claw attacks. I didn't select uh, Tarabat, so it's not calculated automatically, but I can apply damage anyway. I open the combat tracker in another tab. Up, Tarabat will heal itself. So I can roll the dice. And I can right click and apply the healing if I want to. Next turn, so initiative is rolled. I do some tail spike attack. Yes. So um, here, Taribat was selected, so it was compared to his AC. I'll update the L points, and I can. You see, I have both melee and missile attacks possible with hand axe, so there's a dialogue to select the, the one you want. Next turn, bite have um, saving throws here. I set it uh, just before. So I can roll a saving throw if I select Tarabat. Here it is. Next turn. Little battle axe action. Yep. Let's say the Manchiko is defeated. So once it's defeated, you can roll the treasure if you want to. It's directly linked in the sheet. Yep, 
and it will roll everything automatically. You still have to set it uh, manually on the character sheet. There's no sharing for now. Okay, thanks. Um, so I'll keep you updated uh, as I had additional features. And um, have fun.